Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at Catholic Converter Thieves. These thieves have been going around in the Pearland area of Texas stealing Catholic converters. Now, I read that the Catholic converters are worth more than gold. That's why it is such a huge problem in the U.S. with theft. And right here in my state, ladies and gentlemen, there is a ring of people stealing the catalytic converter off of school buses. In fact, for the first time, they got a still shot of a pickup truck, a white pickup truck. And they are now trying to find the people that are doing this. They haven't caught up to them yet. And it's been going on for quite some time. So they will steal the catalytic converter off of virtually any kind of vehicle that have one. And it is an ongoing problem to the point where there are some people in this country that are demanding legislation be passed to shut these people down. And it has yet to be done. There are people that you can talk to out here that have gotten their catalytic converter stolen two, three, four times from their vehicles. It really depends on the area that you live in, but it's bad nationwide with this because they can sell these things and get tons of money for them apparently. So that's why it is an ongoing problem here in America. All right, I have some audio that I want you to listen to. Want to convert first? No, major crime rate. Problem that's cost people thousands of dollars, a theft of catalytic converters. No, a major crime ring believed to have been behind thousands of thefts has been busted. Kathy Hernandez live in Pearland with the latest. Good morning. Good morning to you. We've been checking all morning for court records to learn more about the investigation, to learn more about the people arrested here in this Paraland neighborhood. Yesterday, investigators say they were, quote, fencing stolen catalytic converters for three people charged in the death of a Harris County deputy. Take a look at these mug shots here. These are the mug shots of the five people arrested in a multi-agency sting operation after a month-long investigation into a large-scale catalytic converter theft rate. Officers executed search warrants yesterday at three homes, including these two, on Pepper Creek in Pearland and three commercial properties. They seized more than 1,400 stolen catalytic converters, $840,000, five vehicles, and equipment believed to be used for criminal activity. Those suspects are believed to be connected to these three men charged with capital murder in the death of Harris County Deputy Darren Almendares. Investigators say the men were trying to steal the deputy's catalytic converter while he was out grocery shopping in North Houston with his wife on March 31st when there was a shootout and he was killed. The five suspects arrested yesterday are now charged with engaging in organized criminal activity. As soon as we learn more about their cases and their status, we'll bring that information to you. Reporting live in Pearland, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC2 News. Kathy, thank you. Okay, y'all, so you heard that. This is a huge problem. I didn't realize it was so bad in America. And the next country they said this is really bad in is Japan. He said they have had this problem for decades in Japan with catalytic, con con catalytic converters being taken off of cars. And America is right up there with the country that it has a high number of this type of theft. So this particular ring was working in Texas. And they're saying that, you know, they have been at this for quite some time. So five people were arrested Wednesday in a multi-agency sting operation after a month. They have been watching these people for months um, just steal these catalytic converters off of cars 
in the Pearland area of Texas. Yeah, so that's where it was happening. And, you know, y'all be careful. You know, there was uh, a video I watched of a black woman, but the video was back in 2021. And she was saying they got her four times. They got her four times in taking her uh, catalytic converter off of her car four times. That is just insane. So, I mean, I know it depends on where you live, but, and sometimes these things occur when you're out and about and you have no idea that anything, you could be in the grocery store, you could be at a doctor's appointment or in a restaurant and these folks will strike. And ladies and gentlemen, they said that this, um, these catalytic converters, they get so much money for each one. That's why these rings have gotten really out of hand in America. I mean, there it is happening in virtually every single state in America. So I don't know if this might have happened to any of you. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comment section. But as times continue to get worse and keep declining in America, this sort of thing is just going to continue to explode everywhere. People are getting desperate and they're going to do anything to make it out here, whether it's legally or illegally. They are no longer going to care. It is bad in America. Economically, it's bad. And you got these folks sitting at the top playing around too much. Now, uh, before we got to this point, they said, if you have two quarters where the GDP drops, it, it's a recession. Now, all of a sudden, y'all, they're trying to change their own rule. See, it, it didn't work out the way they wanted to. They don't want to see this recession. See, these folks are desperate to stay on top. Even if they got a lie about the economic situation in America, they'll do that too. They don't care. But as you see crime going through the roof, that's going to tell the real story of what's happening in America. Never mind what they're saying. That, that's not going to matter after a while. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. This is absolutely crazy. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.